it's Mary Wormley here. Um, today we're going to take a quick look at this cool art database, Art Full Text. Um, I thought we could look up Sam Gilliam. He's a Washington, D.C. artist who is an abstract impressionist. So let's put his name in and see what happens. Oh gosh, lots of stuff. This, let's try this. Okay, 209 um, possibilities. Terry Gilliam, Leah Gilliam, nope, not who we want. So let's do advanced search. Let's see what it gives us. Um, usually you'll get like a series of boxes where you could put Gilliam in the next box. You could put and artist or um, and Washington or something and not Terry. In this case, we're going to use commas on the advanced search. Let's see what comes up. Ah, 93 articles. Okay, so now we want to go to our limiters. Um, first thing first, um, full text. You don't want to get into some article and realize it's just the abstract, and it might be an article that you have trouble getting to. That took us to 15 articles. Um, let's just look at things that are scholarly journals, peer-reviewed. see what happens. Three articles. These are definitely worth taking a look at since they are peer-reviewed academic journals. Uh, in this case, let's um, let's go back. Let's take this limiter out with this X up here. We're going to remove it. And we're back to 15 articles. Let's see, publication date, 1990 is the first one. Maybe we want to get newer info. We can limit it that way. Okay. Um, I don't think it limited, did it? Okay. Alrighty. Let's say um, we find that, oh, here we go. So we want really current stuff. Six articles. If we take if we limit it that way. So let's not limit it that way. Okay. All right. Um, so say we're looking in here and we realize that um, this International Review of African American Art has is a really um, good resource that your teacher approves and you want to just look at that, you can go down here to Publication and choose just those two articles to look at. Um, so let's see, looking through here, let's take a look at this Art in America uh, article where, about his use of color because he's part of that American Color Field School. Okay, here's the article. Um, we can download it as HTML or PDF, either one. And um, we can listen to it here. Let's see what happens. Color in landscape. Contents. One, end notes. Full text. Though lately pegged as a rediscovery, abstract painter Sam Gilliam has been working successfully for decades. So you can listen to that, and here's another cool thing. You can translate it to several languages. This is fabulous. Um, okay, so this is an article you definitely want to look at. Um, here's some interesting tools over here on the side. Um, here, citation, this is great. You can click this, and it'll give you let's say suggested citations. I mean, if say you're using MLA, um, this might not be exactly what your teacher wants. So, you know, you should be sure that you, you don't just go with this citation that you maybe double check it. Um, here's all these different choices for downloading. Um, I like Google Drive. Uh, that's, that's my favorite because you've got it handy. I mean, you could print it out, but then you have a bunch of paper and with some of these electronic downloads, like you emailed it to yourself, you've saved it, uh, et cetera, you've exported it, you can search within it to find information. Um, let's see if we can do that. Okay, I want to know what his influences is, so I clicked Control F in the article, and I'm going to go Influence. Okay, here we go. Um, what influenced him? The South. Um, it looks like the colors of spring, azaleas. So there's that great detail uh, that you quickly found with Control F. Okay, so let's save this to Google Drive. We've clicked it, it's downloading. Hopefully, oops, I have to tell it which one. All right, 
Save to Google Drive. Wait, it's been saved. Cool. Let's check it out here. Isn't it shown up? Let's refresh. Sorry, my computer's spinning a little bit here. Come on. I'm sorry. Ah, color and landscape. There it is. So I can refer back to it at any point while I'm working on this project. So um, that's a quick look at this database. It's an EBSCO product and that's pretty short, but you know, if you have any trouble with this, please talk to your teacher, talk to Mr. Hibbert, talk to me, and we'll help you, um, you know, navigate all of this and search tools, limiters, all of that. So best of luck, guys.